A message from Niji Sanji En. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. Box and Ike are also present here with me, and we would like to take some time to address the events surrounding Zelentatsky's contract termination. To preface, we have discussed with Any Color staff and our legal team about what we are able to say. However, due to how sensitive the situation is, Please do keep in mind that there are limits to what we're able to share. Both we, the livers, and the company have been affected deeply and are taking the situation very seriously. Everything that'll be discussed has been approved by our lawyers or is based solely on our personal experiences. Nah, this sounds so scripted. It's so uncomfortable listening to it. It's awful. It's so it very scripted. It sounds like he might have been the one harassing Selene. I, I wouldn't jump to accusations. I feel like that's the problem right now. Uh, what they need to do is have, um, what's it called? They need to come out as a company and, and address it. You know what I mean? But don't start doing accusations in here. Bro. Before anything is discussed, there is something very important. Accusations or conclusions or whatever the fuck. Ian, feels need to be made very clear. All of us do not condone harassment of any kind to any of the parties involved. Mm -hmm. After discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Ian as a collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. Additionally, we've been told that there will also be a video releasing regarding the situation from Tazmi-san directly a few hours following this stream. But what we say on this stream is our own words and our own feelings. That doesn't sound... I would like to first apologize if my silence on the matter has caused any worry. Over the past month, staff received documents from Selene's lawyer containing examples of her claimed experiences under any color. Mm -hmm. These documents in question included personal information of some livers, and when it was sent to us, we learned that there was a potential that this information could be made public. Some of the information poses a risk to our personal safety and puts some of us at risk of doxing. Notably, one section of this document alludes to where Millie and I live. Were the VTubers forced to do this? Did the company pressure them to? This feels very icky. I'm not sure. It feels very like script reedy. You know what I mean? Like for sure. I don't know. And then the title is a message from Niji Sanji Ian. I don't know if the company themselves made the livers say something on their behalf. That would be, you know what I mean? However, there are also harmful claims Selen made in the document about some livers personal information that we believe are simply untrue. It's definitely pre-recorded. I felt threatened and scared of speaking out about the situation because of the risk that it could pose to not just my own safety, but the safety of those around me as well. I'm very sad that this is how everything had to turn out and I deeply apologize apologize to all the fans who have been affected through this time. When Selene had posted the tweet about her cover being privated, several EN members reached out to Selene and we expressed our concerns. Uh -huh. We were genuinely concerned and we wanted to understand the situation as we were all in the dark about it. Once she notified all of us regarding her hospitalization, we immediately reached out to her, each other, and her manager to confirm her safety. Her manager also immediately reached out to her and her emergency contact and kept us updated throughout the entire situation as well. It's been a very tough time for a lot of us, and I'm honestly not sure what else to say, but thank you again for everything, for waiting, and thank you. Um, Thanks, Alira. Um, no, you're no right. worries. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it has been a really, really tough time, and uh, and it's had an effect. Uh, I've, I've noticed it's had an effect on, on, on everyone. It's had an effect on He's mad low, but I can't hire so, it. So uh, I'm joining this stream to talk about my experiences with Selen, uh, to lend some of what I know to help um, help you all understand the context of this a little bit better. Uh, I know that a lot of you watching are going to have your own views and opinions on the situation. And so mm -hmm. all I would like to ask is that you can take the information that I'm going to present at face value if you can. So this recent situation uh, began when Selene claimed on Twitter that her most recent song cover had been made private by staff and she gave no context or reasoning as to why. In actuality, she had been asked to send the content of her music video to her manager in advance of the release date so it could be checked for content, etc. Wait, this is actually pre-recorded. This isn't a live stream. This is f***ing pre-recorded. Like, we're actually acting here. There's no way. This is, like, edited. Like, someone f***ing posted. Am I bugging? This has to be pre-recorded? It feels like a presentation. Which is something that all livers agree to do. Her okay. manager communicated with her about this very clearly, um, but she released her cover without giving management time to check it, and as a result, it needed to be made private. It was going to be made public again once the checks had cleared. Uh -huh. uh, management absolutely intended to let her release the cover once they'd made sure that it was okay to release. Okay, but didn't Lily Pichu come out and say it was okay back in August of 2022? So I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't... Okay. It's very important to establish this pattern of events... This is actually edited! No, I swear to God, his breath gets cut short. I swear to God, just edit. I edit. Stop playing with me. This can edit. This is not a live stream. 
This is actually edited. I swear it is. Listen to the... And then it instantly cuts, bro. Genuinely listen. It's very important to establish this pattern of events had happened before on multiple occasions, including her Fall Guys tournament. I don't in know, August bro. Of 2023, uh, a voice pack in May. I don't the know. Same year and an outfit contest also in May. In each of these situations, Selen would be working on one of the projects I mentioned. She'd be given clear communication about confirming certain aspects with staff as all other livers receive and comply with, and each time she would refuse to cooperate. And when staff would react appropriately, she would make public statements that would hurt any color's reputation. And as these situations- I think any color already hurt their reputation enough, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Occurring, myself and other livers felt very upset and anxious. We felt that these statements harmed all of us as a group. What what did Selene say? She said they privated my thing, but feel free to uh, upload it somewhere else or whatever the f she paid $15,000 to upload. I don't know, bro. I don't know about that, dude. I don't know about that. I feel like, honestly, it has been all Niji Sanji. Just, I don't know about that, bro. Excuse me. So it's this context that I hope explains why myself and some other livers decided to approach Selene and ask about her handling of the latest situation, which was her cover being made private. So some livers, myself included, asked Selene- Real quick, was this live streamed? What reputation? Everyone be respectful of the reputation. This is embarrassing. I'm just looking at their the, the chat right now. So they live stream it. They're saying it's a live stream, but it feels so obviously recorded that I don't know. Why she tweeted about the cover in the way that she did, uh, expressing that we felt it, it was- It was a premiere? Oh, heard you. Okay. Monkey. According to Selene's lawyer, it's this event that they claim to be a buildup of, uh, or, and what they claim to be a buildup of past experiences that led to accusations made by Selene that she was bullied and harassed. As you can imagine, this is incredibly serious, and I want to state that throughout my friendship with Selene, I did my best to support her in private and talk to her about any problems she might have been having whenever I had the chance. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to any color by her lawyer, and based on what I know personally and have been told by Selene as her friend, myself and other members vehemently believe these claims to be completely untrue. Wow. But like, how can you claim that, bro? I mean, dude, I'm not going to say I don't believe whoever the f but like to say that it's everything is completely untrue when obviously there was something very pressing that it even led to an attempt on her life, bro. You know what I mean? Like that, I don't, I don't know about that, bro. Genuinely, I don't know, dude. Uh, Vox not only said that he thoroughly uh, read through the doc that that were not supposed to be in public in the first place. Niji Sanji's tweet said that in order to check the validity of Selene and her lawyer's claim, any color shared an only necessary parts of the information a lawyer, uh, which entirely contradicts themselves. They, I'm pretty sure, like the livers are not supposed to go live and talk about this. It's like, this is like legal sh you know what I mean? But whatever, at this point, I guess. I don't know, bro. Legally, they were not supposed to see those documents. Mm. Monkey. Yeah, because it's supposed to what be for the their legal team. What's going on, brother? Bro, I don't even know at this point. I feel very confident in saying um, that the way I and other livers communicated with Selena about this incident was fair and reasonable, especially considering our built-up anxiety over this repeating pattern of behavior. In my opinion... They're literally they pressing all the blame on Selene. What the fuck? Am I bugging or does it not seem like that? What the f Do not think that it was a form of harassment. Also in the document given to any color by Selene's lawyer, it stated that Selene had secretly recorded me in a private voice call without my knowledge or consent. Is Selene in Canada? Because I'm pretty sure in Canada, you only have a one party rule where you can record someone without net letting them know. I know in America, you got to let them know. I'm not sure how the law works. I I swear though. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me look it up. Uh, no. In Canada, it is perfectly legal for anyone to record a phone call to which the party they are the party, or regardless whether the parties. Oh, look, 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 look. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if she's in Canada. Here it says in Canada, does recording a phone call legally require consent from both parties? And then it said under the Criminal Code of Canada, but I believe in subsection, but uh, recording. However, you can record any conversation that you are part of, requiring only one party consent. You are the one party. You must engage in the conversation. Third. Party party recording is different and all uh all parties must be informed this is why you always hear this call is recorded for training purposes she's in canada check twitter niji's post got a community oh oh we got more oh 
getting community guidelines or community notes is insane. A liver in question, Selene or her new account, Doki Bird, has confirmed she was promised uh, information would only be shown to her lawyers as it was HR complaint. Sharing this, oh my God, sharing this information without consent may be a violation of pepidibinum as Doki Bird is in Canada. Ooh, I told you she's Canadian, dude. It's over, dude. It's like they're actually, they, what they're doing is not right. They're not supposed to be doing this. I swear to God. I'm not trying to pick sides or whatever the but it's very, very, very blatant on what the f was going on. Holy sh! Now, I have absolutely zero memory of what I might have specifically said in that recording, but we know it was on the topic of the tweet that I had made around the time of AR Live's cancellation last year. From what I know, based on this document, uh, Selene had wanted to use this as proof of staff showing favoritism for some members over others, as at the time I wasn't reprimanded by staff having made that tweet. I followed this issue up with my managers and I was told that they didn't reach out because they didn't want to cause further controversy at the time. Uh, however, uh -huh. I've been asked to delete other tweets on multiple occasions when I've accidentally this broken This is so rule. weird. In these cases, we're politely informed that when we should avoid tweeting something uh we apologize Dude, like i can't just sit here and listen to this. it's crazy to me i feel like they shouldn't even be talking about it in the first place like this is legal stuff that their their legal team like niji sanji's legal team should be dealing with you know what i mean i don't like i don't think it's smart for the niji sanji livers to even talk about this or even be informed of it and then to even have a premiere or live stream of it talking about it. it's just it's giving unprofessional you know what i mean it's giving you feel me i don't know bro delete it and move on the real issue here however is that someone i trusted and considered a friend not only recorded me in secret but also that these recordings were held without my knowledge for almost an entire you don't need consent in canada or shit, bro second of all bro what the f are you talking about the real issue is there was an attempt on someone's life because the f work conditions were I think that's where the real issue is. I feel like that's where the real issue lies, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Hello? By a year. The fact that this was held throughout our friendship is really upsetting to me. Y'all are co-workers. Until now, I had always looked up to Selene as my senpai. And, and now we're like, what the f*** is... No, I'm actually getting mad, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is kind of... It's giving manipulative. It's giving... Like, what? Why are we... Why are we just putting all the blame on Selene? What the f***? Am I bugging or what, bro? Like, hello? What the f are we talking about? Maybe Throughout I'm bugging. Our friendship is really upsetting to me. It's really upsetting. Until you don't now, sound I've upset. I've always looked up to Selen as my senpai, and I felt really lucky to be her friend. Mm -hmm. Having to talk about this now and seeing how this has played out is, again, heartbreaking. It's not even so like, dude, me. it's legal sh Kenji, thank God you're independent. Please stay that way. Uh, I'm good. I'm good independent. I'm chilling. Bro, I don't... Sounds very manipulative. Yeah, it's just like, he was my best. She was my best friend. And I looked up to her. And I can't believe she did this. It's really upsetting. Like, some of this sh it just feels like I'm talking to my ex. You know what I mean? Like trying to fucking gaslight me when, when she's in the wrong or something. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. And it feels like she's, he's pushing all the blame onto her when it's not even like, first of all, they're not even supposed to be in it. You, like y'all are not supposed to be in it. It should be straight legal. I don't know, dude. Me privately about her disagreements with staff and her managers. And I had done my best to support her and to help her make what I thought were the right choices even when she talked about wanting to graduate. For context, leaving Niji Sanji is always an option for Livers. If she had wanted to graduate beforehand, she was given very many chances to do Okay, so. well, she didn't she say she tried January 26th? Like, what are we talking about? So amicably. And on multiple occasions... I'm sorry, bro, this is not a good response. She planned on graduating. Please, let me see the comments. Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm bugging. L, 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 L. Guys, please be respectful. Nice script, bro. L... Can y'all even discuss some of this legally? Fucking no. Fastest graduation route. Uh, black company. Read the script. Or read the script or lose your job. Uh, bro, you don't have to ask permission to record someone while on the while on the job or on a clock. You're part of the same company. I don't know if that's true. Yep, this thing. I'm telling you, like, I know for a fact there's some in Canada with like a one party rule chat. I swear there is. So whether you feel betrayed or not, it doesn't matter. Whether it's legal is what it comes down to. And in a public eye, they like Niji Sanji just looks like anyway so i don't know bro i'm sorry chat i'm serious about yo i'm sorry i'm not joking around i swear to god but like just hearing this kind of bothers me if i'm being if i could be completely candid with you i usually joke around if you watch the other video where i was talking about the ceo apologizing i was joking around a lot but like dude this i'm gonna be honest this is like i don't know bro i don't know it's, it's kind of upsetting me
Can I record a work meeting or conversation? Let's see. Uh, as Canadian employment lawyers, uh, we are often asked whether it's legal to record a conversation at work, especially ones related to the workplace, performance, concerns, or workplace. Blah, 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 blah. The simple answer about recording a workplace conversation is yes, but only if the following applies. You are you are a participant in the conversation and consent to the conversation being recorded. Okay, which was Doki, Doki Bird. Uh, you are an employee, not, a, not acting as a member of management. Okay, so that's yes. You were intended to receive the communication mm, so they're talking to them yeah okay so it's legal so whether i'm sorry bro whether vox thinks oh i'm betrayed and she was my best friend or whatever the f at the end of the day they were co-workers and she's legally allowed to record like what are we talking about that like bringing up oh how i felt and that, i don't think shit has anything to do with anything bro i don't know she told me that she would be graduating on the day we hosted the prism cup but as you know this didn't happen she also, after being warned by staff due to her repeated rule breakages in May of last year, told other livers that she was being terminated at that time, when, like I said, she had just been warned, nothing else. Because I trusted her so much, and I it's listened so, to her narrative of half- I don't like this at all. I don't like how he's coming across, bro, and I, like, I just, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like it. Untruths about her relationship with any color. This caused me so much anger on her behalf that I had considered graduating with her in solidarity. Seriously. Okay, and well, I Vox, know. now knowing everything, now objectively looking at how the company acts, right? How they're treating Selene, right? I think it's very safe to say that it seems like they don't give a f about her. They try to sh on her and they're dragging her. And even in this video, you're doing the same, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Am I, but I feel like I'm getting gaslit. Am I, I'm talking to my ex right now. What the f is going on? What is going on, bro? No, the, my intense feelings at the time came from omitted context and falsehoods. And that, once again, is heartbreaking. Your broken heart, we're talking legal. And even in the face of times as hard as these, I really wouldn't want it any other way. So regardless of how I now feel about Selene having been my friend and having hurt co me and other lives in this way. Co-worker and who cares because it's all legal? Like, what are we talking about? Her attempt on her life will never, ever be something to be taken lightly. Okay, but you kind of just them. pushed everything on her, it feels like, no? I and, and uh, other livers found out about what had happened, and we prayed for her safety then, and we still do. Regardless of the outcome of the situation, I genuinely want nothing more than for Selene to grow and to be in a safe place where she can look after her health, insofar as me and, and the rest of Ian can heal in our own way too. To those of you watching this stream, please, please leave her be. Harassment of any kind is vicious, and it's insane. I don't think any, no yo, I don't think anyone, I mean anyone, is ever harassing Doki Bird, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm pretty sure everybody is on her side, bro. What are we talking about? Like, what are we talking about? Hello? Uh, watch it sink, bro. We love you, but we all know management 100% made this script. Who thought this was gonna be good PR? The narratives, Jack. Found the bully, someone says. I'm incredibly happy with my job. Sure, I believe you. You certainly weren't forced to say that. Uh, her attempt on her life will be taken seriously, and yet y'all keep trying trying to drag her actually true actually true though what the f is going on is this real unity that's that's that that's all i need to say thank you thank you thank you vox before we round things off and i also had something that i wanted to say it's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit on the shorter side uh by the way hi i'm mike um <clears throat> first off i just wanted to say preface this with like sorry if i have a hard time finding the proper words for anything i'm a little bit all over the place right now just read the cue <clears throat> cards bro why do i feel like 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 they're the victims here you know what i mean like they it feels like they're trying to portray like they're the victims here am i bugging or what exactly like what the f it's like they're trying to spin some type of narrative i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know chat i don't know i don't know real quick um someone said kuro sanji meaning like a black company about niji sanji and scarlet uh hearted it so uh-oh Ooh. and the only person that didn't retweet the uh post was scarlet oh oh wait what also they are the only person that didn't uh retweet the scarlet post who hold on hold on uh-oh hey she kind of a real one bro i'm not gonna lie to you why do they have talent speaking for him it's crazy for a uh, very long time i considered selen as a good friend within niji sanji ian a worker be it on stream or off stream a worker we always managed to get on really well so um, that's why it was so shocking for me to learn that any color had received these documents from selen's lawyer mm -hmm. and you shouldn't have learned about it about 
what was contained within these documents was to me personally incredibly saddening. Knowing that the things said within the document were coming from the very same person that I called my friend. Doesn't matter. Hurtful and disappointing. It doesn't way. matter, bro. None of why are we acting like the victims, bro? It does not matter if you see if you think, oh, they're your friend, whatever the y'all are in a company that is your co-worker and she was going through some shit. Bro, whether you feel like you were betrayed or not has nothing to do with it. You weren't supposed to see none of the legal documentation because that was for their fucking legal team. What are we talking about, bro? Oh my god. I... Okay, 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 okay. I hope Mr. Man punches them in the back of the head with a lawsuit. FRFR. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I don't know. I don't know about this. I try to stay away from this, shit, but I don't want to be like some dude that just constantly like reacts to drama or whatever but like i don't know the way they're coming across it feels like they're trying to be victims during doki's live she was uh she was reacting to what was happening niji en carefully planned this to sabotage doki's stream and she basically had to end her stream because of them yikes it i was very sad to find out a personal document that was only shown between three different parties had to be uh, uh, leaked out um, because it was a document I made for my lawyer and it was a document that was not supposed to be shown anywhere else but to me and my lawyer and, and their to, legal the team. Lawyer, to the lawyers on, on the other side yeah, and bro. we were promised it was not to be shown anywhere else so the fact that um and this was a document that was made that was supposed to help me figure out what was going on between me and my lawyer and to see if things that were happening was actually happening and then we showed it to the other the lawyers just to see to see if like they can figure out if what was going on was actually happening and we were promised it was never going to show be shown anywhere else so the fact and the fact that this has happened really messes me up because I have said that I felt a very lack of trust for a while and um I could I it, I'm just left speechless that that my trust has been broken again regarding what I thought was kept private. Yeah, that's we're talking about like oh my trust being broken and whatever the the real f***ing broken trust here, I genuinely believe, is the fact that they even seen those documents. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not, they weren't supposed to see that sh At the end of the day, I think the livers should not have been involved, involved at all. It feels like they're being weaponized. I don't like that. Um, I don't like why we're trying to play victim. It doesn't even matter at that point. It just feels like they're just trying to like, there's, they're trying to do some type of narrative here. I'm going to be completely honest with you. At the end of the day, it's a legal thing between Niji Sanji and Doki. That's it. You feel me? There was some unfortunate shit that happened. There's shit in management, all that extra. Shit. Sure. I don't think it's smart to do any accusations till we know all the facts. Okay. I don't go spreading hate. Don't go doing none of that. Shit. But I got to say this video right here is whack bro okay whether you uh, you don't like me or you do like me whatever the f i know there'd be that just don't like me just because i just be speaking bro i'm sorry in fact this right here is some bull i'm sorry bro i'm gonna finish the rest of the video but don't mods just start timing out people i don't want no accusations or f***ing or witch hunt in my f chat i'm sorry i'm getting so serious but this genuine like i'm actually bothered bro usually i'm like trying to joke around and sh this shit just bother me way i really don't know how to describe oh let me Not go back because it was hurtful and disappointing in a way i really don't know how to describe not only because of it made me now re-examine our entire friendship co-worker but primarily because the document contains some information that we believe is incorrect that could be harmful for us and it's just private information that is very terrifying to have been, you know, shown before you like that. Shown before right you? There's no, nothing's being shown, bro. That's supposed to be for your legal team. Am I bugging, dude? I don't know. We're Ow. all very stressed. But in spite of this, I feel like the public deserves to, at the very least, be aware of the existence of these documents, as well as of some of its contents. What? Or 
all very stressed. But in spite of this, I feel like the public deserves to, at the very least, be aware of the existence of these documents. <laughs> am I fuck? Yo, am I fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no way this is real. What is happening, bro? What is going on? Kenji losing his mind right now, chat? No, bro. No, bro. No, 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 bro. No, bro. All that, bro. As well of, as of some of its contents for the sake of transparency and honesty. You want to talk about transparency and honesty? How about... Oh, no. I'm just going to play the video. I'm done talking. I'm, I'm good. I'm so good. We understand that the past week of radio silence has been really difficult for all of you. Please rest oh, assured God. that we've been working oh, very, God. very hard to try and understand what it is that we can and cannot say about this. But we wanted to make sure that what we shared was as much as we were able to share. I just, I want everybody to know how heartbroken I am and so sad and betrayed that, that a friend, even though... You know, it's, it's not even really about us, really. We're just, I don't even know why the fuck we're making this video, but just really hope that you can listen to us and please, please, Niji Sanji isn't bad. <laughs> Within Niji Sanji EN, everyone always makes an effort to make sure that anyone who wants to be included in something has the opportunity to do so, whether that be online or offline. That has nothing to do with anything. What is he talking about? And all of us will continue to do our utmost to provide a safe and fun environment for fans to enjoy together. And this uh, is so weird. To this off, I want to reiterate, please do not spread hate to anyone involved in any way, shape or form or anyone in general. Honestly, we ask that in these times you allow us to continue our activities without asking us for any additional information about the situation. At this point, it's an issue for the lawyers. It should have been an issue. To no, I'm actually about to spaz the out it should have been a issue for the lawyers when it was an issue for the lawyers why the fuck are, are three niji sanji talents talking about it what the fuck are we talking about am i losing my mind am i the fucking wrong one here i can't bro because this whole 15 minute fucking video has me tweaking right now bro what the fuck? what like actually what what the fuck are we talking about bro and we ask that you do not pressure any of us to discuss the matter beyond this point. You shouldn't be discussing it at Please all. Please reach out to any color for contact regarding anything else. You shouldn't have been discussing it at all. It's not a talent issue right now. Niji San, they should, uh, these three livers should have never made a, a statement. I don't know if they were forced to. I don't know if they had to read a script. I don't know what the they were doing. These should have just stood to the side. I don't know what the doing go over there bro because we're acting like victims right now when it's not even about you little bro get the fuck out of here like what are we talking about the, at the end of the day it is a niji sanji management issue get the fuck on the ceo already made a statement the first thing he said was talking about investors and, and sponsors bro what the fuck are we talking about and then you want to sit here and be like oh i need all right bro i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm gone bro i can't i actually can't like we're lacking logic here dude i'm good on that